While searching on Google Earth, I saw what appeared to be long piles of rocks along this ridge line. I also saw these things. I wasn't sure what was going on here, and it seemed interesting, so I made the long drive to go see what this all was in person. Hello again, it's me, Jeff. Once again, Google Earth has brought me to the middle of nowhere in a very random place <laughs> that I haven't been before. Uh, I found this stuff on Google Earth. It's on top of this thing right behind me. So I'm gonna hike up right here and then go check it out. I'm really excited for this one because there's actually two spots that I wanna check out. Um, just one's just right up here and then the other one's just kind of up behind that. There's gonna be some potential for some really cool stuff. So let's get up there. And I've been noticing in the comments that there are uh, some people that have said that they are bedridden or that they are homebound or something like that that keeps them just at home, whether it's an illness or something. And they say that they watch my videos because it's their way of getting out. To those people, I hope you're feeling better. Hope you're feeling good. Um, hopefully you can get out soon. But I am really honored that you would choose to watch my videos as a way to just kind of get out for a little bit. So that really just makes me feel good and I hope you feel good. So yeah, so thank you. <laughs> Thank you for inspiring me to get out more. It's like a natural way to come up here, huh? Oh, wow. This looks interesting. Yeah, there's... Might be something up here. I see a bunch of uh, rock piles. Oh, and even right here. Okay, so there's something here. Like, this kind of looks built up a little bit. Okay, right when I said that, I looked down right here. Look. Some potsherds. There's a bunch of them right here. So, oh wow, there's just so many. That's a cool one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, I gotta be careful. I gotta be so careful. Look at that one. I mean, that's compared to my finger here. <laughs> that's cool. Hold on. So here's this big one right here. That's really neat. There's one right here. There's one right there. Well, I'm surprised already. I was not expecting to find this much pottery or pot sherds, right? It's all over the place. So I might have to like circle around and go up top because I just don't want to step on this stuff. Kind of big piece, huh? Wow. <laughs> this is just amazing. <laughs> this is so cool. So I started over here, and then I hiked all the way through this, and now I'm exploring up here in this yellow part. Okay, it looks like there was something here. There's all these rocks that have kind of fallen down towards the bottom here. So I don't know, as a, just a regular hiker, untrained in archaeology, this looks like something was here. Okay, so this is what I saw on Google Earth. This like little depression here. Oh, there's two of them. Unfortunately, not much remains in terms of like buildings and stuff. Um, but let's, so I can circle around here and see what's over there. On this side, you can see like two different layers. So there's this base layer right here, and then there's like another layer right there goes up. So, and there's another depression right here too. Lots of depression going around, right? Hmm, huh, trying to picture what's going on here. Okay, so I came down from up there, and uh, this is making more sense. If you look behind me, you can see that it's built up pretty high. Uh, using dirt and rocks. You can see kind of that layer right there. It's built up. I just can't get over these designs. <laughs> They're just so amazing. Uh, I'm going to fly my drone over this to get a better idea of what's going on. Um, but right now I think I found four uh, like depressions, but we'll have a better picture with a drone. From above, we can see that there are four pits or indentations in the ground. What do you think these would have been? My idea is that these could possibly be pit houses or kivas. I explored where the yellow was, and now I'm making the short trek up to where the green is right now. So I'm seeing like these big piles of stacked rocks right here and up there.
Oh, there's a petroglyph of a horse with a cross on it. Look at this thing. It's a horse with A, L or something, and then a plus or cross, and then E, F plus J. Think I could get up there somehow? I bet I could. Oh, go this way. <laughs> Wow, whoa. Oop. Wow, there's pottery up here. Oh my goodness, there's something up here. Oh, there's... Look, they built up this wall right here. And up there. This is cool. What was this? Was this a watchtower? <laughs> that looks like a hunting blind, huh? Or maybe, I don't know. There's one on top of that stuff too. <gasps> oh, wow. That's, that's what I, uh, that's what I saw. <laughs> Oh wow, those are going to be fun to explore. Watch your step, huh? Okay, I've seen this many times before. Um, to gain access to these top spots, these hard spots to get to, uh, these people would jam these little crevices with rocks, kind of making a, you know, a stairway of sorts. Isn't that cool? Wow. Look, there's like a circle right there. To think somebody was here that long ago. A lot of people were here on top of this. Is this some giant hunting area or a small settlement or something? I don't know, but this is really neat. these big pieces right here. <laughs> so this is my camera lens. It's about three inches. Those are pretty big potsherds right there, huh? Okay, so I just climbed up here. There's like this nice little built-up area. This little perch. Oh wow, that is so cool. We would just wait here for deer or bighorn sheep to come by? What do you think? Okay, so the ones behind me are the ones that I first saw on Google Earth. And they look so fun to explore. There's right down there. This thing is huge. It goes all the way over there and it comes right here. And it, that is tall too. And you can see it goes right up to that edge right there. You can see both sides of this little, um, it's on this little saddle right here looking at both sides of these canyons. Okay, do you see this big wall right here? They use these huge rocks and stones to make this really long wall. I mean, it's probably 60 feet, 70 feet long. This is so much bigger than I originally thought it would be. Like, to that very top, it's like probably nine or 10 feet tall. Like what would have been here, you know? And it goes all the way over here. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, interesting. These are like, there was like water here before it looks like, cause there's like these natural like kind of barriers. Probably not. So you got these walls right here. I mean, if I had to guess, I would say that these are uh, dwellings of some kind just because it's so it's such a big footprint you know and, and I'll have a better idea with my drone of course but there's probably a mix of dwellings and maybe even some kivas or something all right so who made these I know there are some ruins nearby that have been um, attributed to the Pueblo people 
the ancestral Pueblo. And there's, uh, there's others south of here too that have also been um, dated and attributed to them as well. So I imagine these are probably from them too. And those ones have been dated to about 750 to 1100 years ago, just depending on the on the site and things. These must have been so big back in the day. Like just, there's so much going on here. And do you remember those uh, depressions we first encountered on the other side? Then we found that stuff on top. And now we're seeing this stuff over here on this side. So it's like this big, huge area. And I just bet there's more over here too, huh? But I'm excited to fly my drone and check these out from above. And so this goes right up to this edge right here. So huh, it was like just on this big saddle right here. It's a really interesting spot. See, this is what I mean by being careful while you walk. This is just right on top. And so is that one. So are all those. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, so you probably noticed that I didn't walk on top of the ruins. Yeah, you don't want to walk on top of the ruins. Um, that's why I brought my drone. We can get really close with the drone without damaging anything. Plus, see this other cool stuff I want to show you. So I'm going to get it out, set it up, and check it out. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. It was really fun. It was a very diverse area for having those like pit depressions and then stuff on top and then kind of some cliff dwellings or cliff spots. Um, and then this big stuff over here and then the, the drone. It was just really just such a fun adventure. Glad you're able to join me. I'll see you on the next one, hopefully. Okay, here is a drone shot of what's going on. Here is what I'm thinking is the rock wall that extends from the butte all the way to the ruins, which is uh, all this right here, this big rectangle. And this is where I think uh, are a bunch of rooms and maybe even some kivas. I'm not, I'm not really sure though. <laughs> These are just some ideas. And then uh, some other rooms over here, you can even see uh, some stacked rocks right here. And as you click play, you can see there's not much going on at this location. And there's a lot going on right here and even right here. And then this spot is what I think is, a, is an extension of a wall. So just a very small wall portion, but you can see it's very busy right here.